Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni. Alice is with me once more, and we are um, going through a simple twist exercise with a little bit of flair because we're going to add um, an eye movement to it to, to work the muscles of the eyes and to also um, work the, the spiral through the spine, neck, and into the head. So, for example, if someone you know, that has scoliosis and they're always bracing to one side, this um, eye movement can challenge them and kind of can, in a way, unwind them and um, bring a little bit more balance. It's super, super small, but it's powerful. All right, so bring your um, arms up. She's holding on to the magic circle, and we're going to keep the twist small. So I want her to keep the head in place. So the eyes are going to stay straight to the ceiling. Her arms go to the back of the studio. The knees go towards the camera. Good. And then on the exhale, she brings everything back to center. Let's keep the eyes straight up to the ceiling, and we'll go in the opposite direction. Good, and gently back to center. And if you're paying attention, do one more to each side, Alice. If you're paying attention, you start to really notice a preference and a real difference side to side. And so your preference is usually that way that you're, you're wound habitually. And you come back to center. It's just kind of cool to notice. So now her eyeballs, not her head, are going to follow the magic circle. Here we go. So the head stays in place, so the chin stays in line with the breastbone, but the eyes, working the muscles of the eyes, she's watching the magic circle, and then you come up to center. And she goes in the other direction. And again, I want her to really kind of notice the nuances of this, like which direction does she prefer, which direction seems like the brain is just not on line with it. So now I want her eyes to follow her knees. Pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. So the eyes, the head stays in place, chin stays in line with the breastbone. Woo, the eyes have to go over to the camera. Yeah, and then come back to center. Nice. And now go in the opposite direction, and the eyes follow the knees away from the camera. Beautiful, and back to center. Good, and do one more on each side, and just notice which side is harder for you. That's your blind spot, and that's kind of the, the direction that you have to practice. And back to center. And last one. And back to center. So now you can also add a, a head roll with this, which is a much easier, more relaxing um, sequence. So. As you twist, let your whole head follow the magic circle. Just roll over to that ear, <laughs> good, and come back to center. And keep going, take your time, notice what your preference is. So the sequence with the eye movement, again, is very, very powerful because it can really unwind someone's neck and their jaw all the way into the, the facial muscles. Good, and just a couple more. And then, of course, you could do the, the opposite turn of the head here. Great. All right, thanks. Let us know if you have any questions. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.